Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Storm Track Meteorologist Nate Harrington, along with uh, Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater. Hey, Mark. Voila. Uh, very hot and humid for today. It is the actually the hottest day so far in 2016 here in Birmingham. 96 degrees as of right at 3 o'clock. It's 425 right now, and it's still hot. 94. The dew point's close to 70. It feels, it just feels like 99 degrees, Mark. That's yeah, it. But we did have some precipitation. We earlier. did have some precipitation earlier. Shout out to Ted McInerney. Uh, west northwest winds at seven, so that at least the air is moving around a little bit, but that's not a whole lot of relief for us out there. 95 Tuscaloosa, 93 Alabaster, Anniston, Hamilton, 92 in Coleman, and in Gadsden, also down in Clanton. We've got 88 in Alexander City, and uh, the dew points there are so high. 77, 78 degree dew point, and anything up over 70, you start to get tropical. Anything close to 80, downright oppressive. You just do not want to be outside. So there you see, Alexander City feels like 101. It feels like 105 in Jasper. Feels like 102 in Aliceville. Feels like 100 in Hamilton, Talladega, Tuscaloosa, and Pell those City. Are, those are down from earlier. Yeah, those are actually a little bit lower. Alexander City and Jasper just last hour had feels like temperatures at 110 degrees, just nasty heat and humidity. And in this air mass, of course, you're going to get some showers to pop up, and that's what we've had, but they've been very, very isolated and tiny showers, much smaller than the showers that we saw over the weekend. Both Saturday and Sunday produced some pretty big thunderstorms that uh, put down a lot of lightning, but uh, only a couple right now in Shelby County producing any sort of lightning. So as we go hour by hour for the rest of of the afternoon into the evening, we could see a couple of more isolated showers and thunderstorms until around 9, 10 o'clock, but after that, most of the energy is going to be gone and expect temperatures to only drop to near 80 by 10 o'clock. It's going to be another mild and muggy evening and overnight. Morning lows tomorrow, middle and low 70s, very humid once again. I think we've got better rain chances coming for Tuesday and Wednesday, and Mark will go over those coming up tonight on the CBS 42 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Make sure you're keeping up to to date with us on WIAT.com and also download that Storm Track weather app. It's free right now in the App Store or Google Play. Anytime we update the forecast, you'll have that for you in the palm of your hand. We'll see you later, guys.